So the game I'm playing today is called Metamorphobet. Now, I'm a little bit concerned as to how you guys are going to react to this game. So it hasn't been that long since the Windowsill video went live on my channel. I only played Windowsill a couple of days ago. And I mentioned at the end of that video that Vector Park also released another really bizarre game, which just so happened to be this one. And I mentioned that I would likely play that game at some point in the future. And I was not originally going to play it this soon, but I kind of just like to get it out of the way because it is a really weird game and I just really want to show it off to you guys. The reason why I'm unsure as to how you guys are going to react to this game is because, unlike Windowsill, Metamorphobet is technically an educational game. Because the main premise of this game, I believe, is to just teach young children all of the letters of the alphabet. I guess they really wanted to try and not make it absolutely boring. So, uh, they decided to get pretty damn weird with it. So, this is the newest game from Vector Park, because I think Vector Park only ever released two games, if I'm not mistaken. But Metamorphobet is another commercial title from them. This costs about $5 on Steam, and it came out in 2015, so it's a much more recent game than Windowsill. I'm assuming this is also a very short game, because, again, I have not played this game off-screen, because I just want this game to surprise me. But since we're going through all the letters of the alphabet, I'm gonna assume that this is probably a very short experience. So, with that being said... How's about we just get started? Sure, okay, let's start with the letter A. Alright, we're gonna- we're gonna learn the letters of the alphabet today, ladies and gentlemen. The letter A. Okay, we're zooming in on it. A. Why are we zooming in? Okay, the A is growing antlers. Oh, A for antlers. Antlers. Cool. Interesting. This is actually the, uh, the icon for the game's executable file. Yeah. Antlers. Oh, we can actually- we can rotate it. Oh god, okay, arch. arch? Oh, I get it, we can- we can morph the letters. Oh god, why is it walking? Okay. Amble. Amble. He's very amble. Is- is that how you use that word? I have no freaking idea. There's birds, there's birds now, is it B for birds? Am I right? Is- is that what the next one is? Why did I get a star? What does the star mean? Hello? Oh, this- this brings up the letter B. Okay, go to the letter B. I because I guess we're already done with that. Okay, beard. B for beard. Okay, the B has a beard. Okay, can I morph this into something else? B, B for beak. Oh my God, the beaks are back. The beaks have traumatized me so much in Windowsill. And oh my God, it's puking butterflies. Bugs. Oh, and bugs and worms and everything else in between. Okay, I can click on the butterfly. Butterfly. Indeed, B for Butterfly. You know what I also find impressive about this? This is actually another game that was not made in Unity, because I do believe that... If I'm not mistaken, this was actually made in the same engine as Windowsill, which is Flash. I believe this was originally a Flash game, or it runs on, like, Adobe Air, which is essentially the commercial version of Flash. Okay, well the Butterfly's gone. Okay, we're going to the letter C now. So I guess whenever I complete a level here, it just, uh, there's a little star that appears and it allows me to open, open up the screen. C. Like, essentially tear the screen open and go to the next level. C for Cohen. Oh. It's a traffic Cohen. Is there, it, are we gonna see the cornucopia again, like we did at the end of Windowsill? Let's see. Oh my god, why are you rotating? Holy crap, you're rotating pretty fast. Hello? What am I doing here? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. C for car. Yes. Okay, why does it have tornado sirens on the top of it, though? I don't understand that at all. There's a caterpillar in the car. With a cape, apparently. <laughs> okay, oh god, why does it bounce? Why is the car bouncing? Oh god, can I- wait, can I- can I flip it over? Oh frick. Oh god. <laughs> wait a second, this is like very physics-based. Hang on, I'm flipping this damn car over. Oh god, it just left the screen. <laughs> Is it not coming back? Oh no, it's back. Okay, wait a second. Can I- can I flip you over? I want to see if I can flip it over. No, maybe I can't. Okay, well, whatever. Leave the caterpillar alone. It did- it did nothing to us. It did nothing to me. Go, letter D. 
All right, gee, I, I I wonder what sort of letters, what sort of words D. begin with the letter D. Let's see here. Door. door. That's totally the the word that I was thinking of. Okay, no. Open the door. Get on the floor. Oh, the dawn. I get it. The break of dawn. It's the absolute opposite of dawn over here right now, where 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 I'm at. Like at the time I'm recording this. There we go. Make the sun rise. Okay, there's a cloud. Hello, little cloud. What what do I do with you? Oh, I daydream. daydream. Okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. I turn him into like a dog. Uh, a camel, I think. Oh god, was that a gorilla? I can't tell. I don't know what that creature is. I'm embarrassed to admit. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, okay, I just completely destroyed that cloud for a minute there. Okay, so am I just- am I just taking out clouds and they're like turning into- turning into animals? Okay, that's pretty neat. Uh, wait, is that- is that it? Okay, I guess we are going to the letter E. Okay, well, here's- here's the meme template then. The meme letter. The meme e. letter itself. Letter E. E for egg. Oh, okay, do you- do you want to eat the egg? There you go, he just- he just ate the egg. Egg. Eat. You know, part of me almost feels like I'm insulting your guys' intelligence by playing this game, but it's just a really weird freaking game, and I've heard about this before, and I've seen other YouTubers play this too, and I just wanted to want to try it out for myself here. Okay, yeah, that's an elephant. Yeah, it's definitely an elephant. Elephant. Yeah, elephant. I totally forgot that there's actually a voice that's that's like that's like th like reciting the the words that are appearing on the screen here. I'm sorry if- I'm sorry if I've been interrupting her this entire time. I completely forgot about that. Okay, is there anything else? Oh yeah, the earth. Oh god, why is he jumping on the earth? Oh no, you're- you're gonna destroy the earth! Oh no, I guess he doesn't. Okay. I thought he was gonna like land on the earth and it was gonna like shatter into pieces. Okay. You just roll away then, because I- I can apparently make him do that. Okay. Oh no, it's just- it's just following him along. He's just balancing on the earth. I will say that the visual fidelity in this game is definitely much higher than it was in, uh, in Windowsill. Which I guess makes sense, considering this is a much more recent game. Okay, F. For foot- okay, that is not- that is not alright. Please get that off my screen. Oh god, it's hopping a lot. No. No thank you. I don't want any of it. Feathers. Feathers. Oh my lord. Okay, well, you look a little more attractive now that you have feathers, at least. I can at least say that. Oh, you got a flower. F for flower. Right? It's rotating like a propeller. Oh, no, F for fan. Okay, fan. whatever. I'm dumb. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just being a doofus again. Okay, what exactly What exactly do we do about this? Do we just make you hop? Do we just keep making you hop? Oh, God, are you actually... Is the fan making you float? Hello? Why are you just stuck to the, to the top of the screen? Are you just, like, slowly floating back down? Because of the fan? I guess you are. Okay, yeah, you're flying now. I think he's actually flying. Yes, flying. Flying. That is what I thought. That is exactly what I... what I thought. Well, look, it's a fan that looks like a flower. Okay? Let's just say that. Oh god, I shut it off and he, he fell down. Alright. Well... You have fun with that, then. You have fun with that fan. Have fun flying through the air. Okay, the letter G is up next. What, what sort of secrets G. have you got in store for me, letter G? A guitar. Guitar. I see. Oh, can I can I play it? Oh my god, I can actually play the guitar. I knocked it over. Okay, perfect. There we go. Oh, no, we have some flowers growing now. Garden. Garden? Okay, well, I mean, related to flowers. That makes sense. I can move the flowers along. Okay, I'm breaking the flowers. Or I'm breaking, like, the petals on the flowers, and they're turning into ghosts. Alrighty, then. So, I guess I guess the, the next word we're gonna get introduced to is ghost. Am I correct about that? Is my theory correct? I mean, the guitar is still falling over. Yes, ghosts. Again, the reason why I wanted to play this was because it was just... It, it looked like it was done in such a unique style. You know, that is definitely not not uh, dissimilar to Windowsill, and that's part of the reason why I wanted to play this so badly. These are not the kind of games that I normally play on the channel, but it's like this... This this one in particular was just too weird to pass up, guys. I'm sorry. 
I really wanted to see what this was all about. Letter H for hand. Hand. Uh, oh god, why are there, why are there cross sections? Can I, that, oh, hand. the hair. That's not disturbing in the slightest. It's, it's like a bunny rabbit. Oh no. Horse. Horse? Hen? Hen. Hog? Hog? Hound? Hound. I don't like it. I don't like this image at all. Get it off my screen. Oh my god, yes, please. I. I. I am legend. Oh, iceberg. Iceberg. I see. It just it just kind of melted. Oh, igloo? Indeed, that igloo. is that is in fact an igloo. Very nice. All right. I can I can feel my brain expanding. This is definitely an igloo. Oh, there's people playing playing ball inside the igloo. Inside. I can already feel my IQ increasing. Can I get the ball? Oh my god, I can expand the ball outwards. Oh no, inflate. Inflate. Okay, I just crushed those people. Crushed those poor people living inside the igloo just playing ball. Okay, I'll leave you guys alone then in that case. Let's go to the letter J. I'm recording this on the exact same night that I recorded the mini motorways video. I just want- I just thought I'd let you guys know. It's not really, you know, important to the video itself, but I just thought I'd let you guys know that. Yeah, I finally mustered up the courage to actually record multiple videos a day. Which is something that I have not done in quite some time. Uh, ooh, jiggly. It's jiggly. Jiggle. Oh, good lord, that's a lot of jiggle. Those are some- those are some extreme jiggle physics. Wow, okay. Uh, what did it just turn into? Uh, okay, there's- Juggle. juggle. Oh, I see. And juggling the balls. I get it. Can I can I grab these balls? Uh, that did not come out correctly at all. But you know what I meant to say. Jeez, this is probably like the most family friendly game I've ever played on my channel, and I am saying like the least family friendly things right now, and I'm not even doing it on purpose either. That's the worst part. Uh, oh, jellyfish. They turn to jellyfish. Jellyfish. Ooh. That actually looks kind of cool. Nice psychedelic jellyfish. I like it, man. I like it quite jellyfish. a bit. Oh god, why am I why am I moving them around? How like how am I doing this? Oh yeah, I can just I can just pull them. I can pull them with the by by like clicking on them and then using uh my my mouse to to like yeah, to like god, what am I trying to say right now? To to drag, left click and drag to make them move around. I guess that's it for J. All right, go to K. All right, what are we gonna see here? Kettle. I I was already able to tell what that was, because I'm not freaking five years old. I'm 23. <laughs> okay, open up the kettle. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of smoke in there. A lot of steam. No, open open it up. Oh, whoa! Hang on a second. I turned it like upside down. There we go. Yeah, there's there's smoke bellowing out out of it. Okay, it, it turned into something else. Knight. Knight. Oh, he's got a flower growing out of his his helmet as well. A lot of flowers in this game. Nice, nice change of pace from windowsill. Okay, very nice. J they're just going back into his helmet, retreating back in. Okay. What exactly is the purpose of that? I mean, this is also, once again, kind of reminding me of vignettes, because everything is just, like, like morphing into different shapes. Kaleidoscope. Am I correct? Oh, okay, now we're gonna trip out. We're gonna trip balls now, boys. We're gonna trip balls now. There we go. Oh, very nice. Kaleidoscope. Oh, yeah. Kaleidoscope. Oh, look at those colors. Look at the colors. Who needs illegal substances when you can just- when you can just look at this for, like, five minutes a day? Oh, it's so- so perfect. It's so- so beautiful. So majestic. Is there- is there anything else that I can do with this kaleidoscope? Or is that- or is- is that- is that it for the K is? Or is there something else that I need to do? I have no idea. I'm not seeing the star, so maybe there is something else that I need to do here. Oh no, I guess there is nothing else I have to do. There, the star just appeared, actually. Okay. Just just have to be patient, I guess. Okay, there we go. Alright, onto the- onto L. Alright, what do you have, letter L? Okay, well, I already know what that is. It's a log. It is indeed a log. I was correct. Just absolutely acing the test right now, I feel. Okay, uh, I can bring it back. Oh god, why is the L falling on itself? Lay. Or lazy. R related to laying on something, I mean, basically, right? Okay, what, what is that? He's dreaming about infinity symbols. I, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Get up, please. 
What are you transforming into now? Oh, lizard. Oh, he's lizard. really cute. Look at him. He's a cute little lizard. Oh my god, why are there more logs? Are you gonna start crawling on uh, on the logs? Can I make you start moving? Oh yeah, you're moving. You're crawling. Oh, I'm actually making you crawl by, like, like moving my cursor around. There we go. Left click and drag. Left click and drag again. Oh god. Whoa, he's like... His model's kind of bugging out a little bit. Oh, there's more lizards. Again, I'm gonna assume that this is not actually 3D models. This is just like... It, it's basically vector graphics is what it is, because that's what Flash uses. But my god, man, this is like impressive use of vector graphics, I will say. Oh, I get mm -hmm. it, because it's a loop. That's why we saw the infinity symbol earlier. I see. They're just... They're just crawling in a loop. Oh, I can, I can make them speed up, though. I can make the lizards speed up. Oh god, it's an infinite loop of lizards. Oh, I can make them go backwards as well. Don't know why I would, I would want to do that. Doesn't seem like there's any point to it. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Here we go. Letter M is next. What do we have this time? M for... Uh... March? Oh, I get it. He's marching. Marching along. Okay, can I, can I, can I stop you for just a moment? Oh, Jesus. Monster. Monster. I see. That, that, that... I was not expecting that transformation. Oh, look at that. I can flip him upside down. Turn him around. Oh god, I can like pull on his eye sockets as well. Why is your why is your mouth open? Are you in pain or are you, you Oh god. Oh god, am I gonna pull his teeth out? What the heck is this? Mouth. Yeah, mouth. I get it. Why are his teeth made of rubber? That <laughs> What the hell is happening? Those kinds of teeth must not be useful for eating. I mean if you have teeth that are literally made out of like rubber like this. I don't know, man. Oh, I guess that's it for letter M. That was that was literally it. We were not gonna go, like, inside his mouth? No? Okay, fine. Letter N, then. Let's go. Let's keep it going. Keep this train a-rolling. Right, what we got this time? N. There's a person. Oh, God. I can inflate his head. Why can I inflate his freaking head? Oh, here we go. Neighbors, right? I'm gonna assume... Oh, I, I need to, like, I need to, like, open a whole bunch of windows here. There we go. Neighbors. Oh, they're also uh, in the neighbors. top. Yep, yeah, neighbors. Okay, they're all living inside the giant letter N. All just kind of staring at each other. Why can I inflate their heads? I don't appreciate that. Okay, that's clearly a Noah's. That's clearly a Noah's. Oh, my God. No. I guess you could say that these people are absolute airheads. Okay, you know what? Oh, my God, why is his nose getting longer? Oh. Oh no, what is this? Oh, a neck. He grew mm -hmm. a neck. What is this creature exactly? Why does he have a bow tie? Why can I inflate that as well? Why is everything inflatable all of a sudden? What in the heck am I- Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that- what's that other word? Nod. Nod? Oh, he's- I made him nod. Oh, I see, because I- I pulled his head down. Or, like, his neck down. I- okay. <laughs> okay, but what is this cre- is this a- supposed to be a dog? I... I can't tell. Or a giraffe? Well, I, I... I have no idea, man. I can't tell. It's weird. I don't want to see it anymore. It's weirding me out too much. Letter O. Let's see what we got. O. Letter O. Orange. Orange. Not my most favorite fruit, but still is still pretty good fruit. Still pretty good fruit regardless. Yeah, you can just... Oh my god, it's like a basketball. I know it's not gonna turn into a basketball, though. Oh, I see. Orbit. orbit. It turns into a planet. Okay. Orbiting around the giant letter O. <laughs> what the heck, man? I like how it has phases as well, just like just like the moon. Um. Oh god, I can make it spin around in like a retrograde orbit. Oh god, there's more planets. There's more planets that are spawning. There we go. Make an entire solar system. Make an entire solar system. Oh my god, this is a lot of perturbation. I'm perturbing the the orbits of these planets quite a bit. I kind of feel like. I'm gonna, like, end up creating some real chaos here as a result. There we go, look at this. Like a top-down view. Oh god, I can actually make them collide with each other. What the... <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Bring this one in. What the heck is this, dude? Oh my god. This is freaking weird. The Muin. Do I... I mean, do I need to, like, make these collide with each other? 
I mean, what what am I supposed to do about this? I don't exactly know. What do I do with the planets? What do I do with the O? Oh. oh, okay, they they all just fell away. I guess I guess they got too tired of that. Okay, fine. Well, we're back with the orange. There we go. The fruit planets. Those were the fruit planets, I guess. Ostrich. That's definitely an ostrich. Oh, he became the letter O. Oh, oh my God. Ostrich. Yes. Ostrich. I know what that is. You're gonna eat the orange. I don't know. Are ostriches herbivores? I don't think. I don't think they are. I don't think they eat plants or fruit. I mean, do they? No, that guy's just using it like a basketball, basically. Okay, can I do something with you? Okay, yeah, I can move. I can move your neck along. Yeah, I, I see. Oh God, what? What in the world are you doing, bud? Oh yeah, you're. What? What do I do with this? Hello? Oh God, I'm like twisting his neck. My Lord, look! Look at! Look at this! Look at how I can just break physics altogether. Oh my God. Let's just move on. I, I I don't I don't I don't want to hurt this poor ostrich. Let's just let's just keep going. God, no animal abuse here, okay? I don't like abusing animals even even in games, honestly. Letter P, P for paper. Yes, paper. colored paper. Just like uh, what you use to make arts and crafts in in school. And I mean, this game was basically designed for people in elementary school, so I don't even know why I'm doing a video on it in the first place. But whatever. I like weird stuff, okay? It's just what I'm into. Uh, this is- this is rotating along. Okay, what are we creating now? What the heck? Okay, I'm creating- Am I actually creating a propeller this time? What- what are- what are we doing here? Oh, I'm really, like, bending these around, and it's causing, like, their- their models to freak out. Oh, whoa, what- what exactly- Oh, it turned into a pinwheel. Okay. I couldn't figure out what how exactly I was supposed to like move on because I was like rotating it, but it didn't seem like it was it was doing anything. Oh my god! Whoa. Okay. Let's just just spin it as fast as you can. There, look straight into it, and become like completely hypnotized. There we go. Wait, maybe I have to. Oh, there we go. I have to. I have to uh, click the thing in the center. And now there's a parade. A parade. Filled with the letter P is. Wait, this guy's actually a duck right here. The green P is actually a duck. Oh, look at him. He has a little. He has a little like marching drum as well, like a marching band drum, a little snare. Yeah, this guy right here is holding the baton. He's 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 like the leader. He's like the leader of the group. This guy's got the. I think that's a tuba. The the purple P over here. Can I grab one of these and like? Oh, I can actually grab you guys and like throw you around. Okay. Well, here's this P in, in in like this red P all the way in the back, who's like looks like a caterpillar. Yeah, and this. Okay, this this like brownish P in the back is holding the flag. My God, this is a psychedelic trip and a half, dude. Holy crap. Okay, I guess we're going to the letter Q now. All right, Q. Quack. Quack. I get it. I immediately got it. Oh my god, okay, well... <laughs> oh, there's like little ducks that come along, like little... Oh my... Okay. You're just... We're just gonna quack at them. They quack back. Oh, good god. Earthquake? Quake? quake. Or just quake? Okay, that, that makes sense. That's also a great video game, by the way. Quake. Still need to do a video on the original Quake, by the way. I still haven't done a video on Quake 1. And I've wanted to do that for for a little while now. It's it's a planned video for absolute sure. Uh, what in the world just happened? Oh God, what are we doing here? Do we have to like uh? Oh, I see. We need to like assemble. Oh God, we need to assemble the uh the the. God, what am I trying to say here? Assemble the frigging image, so that it turns into. Into something that we can actually like, like view here, quilt. or maybe we don't have to. It's a quilt. Okay, maybe we don't have to turn it into something that's like noticeable, or or can we even? I mean, we can do this. Oh my God, why are the pieces just falling down? Okay, well, you know what? I'm not wasting my time with that. Let's just go to the letter R. <laughs> what do you got for me, R? Rain. I see. 
Rain on your parade. Well, we gotta get you out of the rain immediately. Okay, you've become a robot. Okay, well, you're gonna rust now. There, here's like the, 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 the natural progression of this is clearly rust, right? Or maybe it's not. It's, it's running, I guess? Yeah, you, you run. Okay. Run. run away from the rain because you're gonna rust because you're a freaking robot, dude. Get out of there as soon as you can. Dude's got legs on him at the very least. His legs are kind of like glitching into his body, though. Oh, good god. What the frick? Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize I could still- I could still left click and drag. I just like threw him- I just like threw him off the screen. Is he coming back? Yeah, he's coming back. Oh my god. I threw him like so far away. Okay, he's just- he's just running in the air now. What the heck? I guess that's it. There's there's nothing else after that. It's just letting me go to the letter S, so I guess we may as well go. He's just trying to, to run away from the rain. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Alright, this is the letter S. I'm gonna just assume right off the bat that there's gonna be a snake that appears here. Sock. No, that's a sock. Okay. <laughs> I thought for a second it was it was like transforming into a snake. Oh, it may actually transform into one. Hang on a second. Hold on a minute. What is this? There we go. There's my little snake friend. Snake. Oh, look at him. He's so adorable. Oh god, I'm making him loop on himself. Yeah, there we go. Got a nice little shadow as well. Oh, speaking of which. Shadow. The snake has got a nice looking shadow. Oh my god, I can... Yeah, I can make him like slither around by... Again, left clicking and dragging. I do definitely appreciate how interactive this, this is. Oh. Oh god, did his shadow just separate from his body? Now I'm controlling, like, two different snakes at once. Oh god, okay, I'm making them kiss. What the heck am I doing with his snout? What the heck? Okay, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty friggin' cool. Okay, well... <laughs> letter T. We can just move on from that. I don't really know what else there is to do there, but that was pretty cool, though. That was really cool how that looked. Letter T. There's probably gonna be a truck that appears, I'm assuming. No, that is a tree. I don't like how the branches look like tentacles. Please don't do- oh, okay, that's a table? A tongue? Oh, I really don't like how that looks. Tassels? Oh god, no, please, get it away from me. Oh, like a telescope. That looks- that, that looks a lot better. Tambourine. I like how I can just knock the table over and everything on it falls off. Like, look at that. There we go. There goes- there goes the milk, just spilled the milk. Is there anything else? That we can do here? Yeah, like, what about- what about the tentacles on top of here? Or the tree- or the tree tr branches? God, they're so wobbly as well. I guess there's nothing else to do there because... We're just going on to the letter U now. I guess that was just it. No, I really- I really don't like how- how one of the tree trunks turn into a tongue, and I was already uncomfortable with how it looked like a tentacle, so... No thank you. Speaking of the letter U... What we have? Underpants. Oh my lord. Just... why? Okay. Upset. I'm upset by this very image right here. <laughs> like, truthfully... Oh my god, I can just... I can just make you roll along. Well, you're not upset anymore. Look, he's happy. He's so happy that he grew an umbrella out of his head. <laughs> umbrella. <laughs> umbrella. Also, his hair is literally grass. Okay, I can- I can close it back. I don't think I want to close it back though, do I? Oh god, I can make them- I can make them slide around again. God, what is even the point of this? Oh, are they flying? Oh, they're hovering. Because there's clouds in the background now. I guess they're just flying away. They're just- they're just- they're just floating away now. They're like conjoined twins and they're wearing the same pair of underwear- Well, they're not even twins, they look completely different. But they're still conjoined upwards. Upwards. And they're wearing the same pair of underwear. I don't know how I feel about any of this right now. I've I've been taken on like like a roller coaster of emotions. Or like I've experienced a roller coaster of emotions playing this game so far. My god, I don't even know how I feel about this. V. Let's go to V. V for Vector Park. Alright, letter V. What sort of nightmare fuel are we gonna encounter this time? That's definitely a funnel. Okay, wait, what is- what is this? Okay, follow the path. Oh, we're creating a vase. Vase. Ah, I see. It morphs into a vase. Oh god, it's morphing into all sorts of different shapes. 
Including... What is this? Uh... Well, what exactly? Oh, it's a vacuum. It's a vacuum. vacuum. There we go. Vacuum of all the all the particles, all the dust particles. There we go. I, I'm assuming I have to vacuum up like absolutely everything. There we go. Very nice. Now, what are you gonna turn into? Uh, there's cities that's or building a village, a village yeah, that village. suddenly appears in front of the giant vacuum. Okay. What is this meant to be then? Like a like a like a monument of some sort? They all just worship the giant vacuum cleaner? Wait, can I vacuum them up? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You know, if there's one thing that Vector Park doesn't lack, it's definitely creativity. Because this is this is pretty freaking creative, man, I gotta say. I mean, I know, I, I understand that this game is, like, educational and it's meant for, like, really young kids. But at the same time, man, this is just so, like, this is super imaginative and so creative. I love it. I really do. I don't care if I'm, like, in my freaking early 20s now. Like, I freaking adore this game, man. I mean, I've liked what I've seen up to this point, at the very least. I'd even go as far as to say that this is an improvement over Windowsill, honestly. Speaking of which, W for Windowsill, or Wagon. Sure, whatever. We made a wagon. Oh, we can we can move it around. Okay, goodbye. Oh my goodness. Walrus. There's a walrus in the wagon. The walrus is the wagon. Oh, he makes noises too. There we go. Clap your tail fins around. <laughs> clap. Make your clap your tail fins. There we go. Or are those his tail fins? I think that's what that is. Okay, we're we're taking on water now. We're we're definitely in the water. Oh dear God, this wagon is wobbly as frick. Okay, what do we do about this here? This is water. We just ride the waves. Or maybe that's the next word we're gonna get. Waves. Oh my god, we're doing a wheelie on the waves. Look at that. Waves. Indeed, waves is our next word here. Oh my god. Wait, can I can I make him like face plant into the water? Hang on. Hold up! Oh, okay, I guess I can't because the wheels get in the way. Alright, well I guess I guess that's all there is to see here, because the star just appeared. Okay. Well you go on about your your merry way then. X. Alright, letter X. Uh X-ray? X-ray. Why does the why does the letter have Bowens? Why does the letter have Bowens? I don't understand. <laughs> oh god, okay, what what is this? Oh, we're playing as bones like a xylophone. I get it. Okay, now it actually is a xylophone. Play the xylophone. Yeah, there we go. Making some of the worst music I've ever heard in my life. Perfect. Totally what I want. Oh my god. Okay. Um, does this morph into anything else? I guess it doesn't, because we already have the star. I guess if we wanted to play the xylophone a little bit more, we could hang around, but... I don't have time to hang around. I have to continue on here. I don't have all the time in the world to be recording these videos. I mean, I did have all the time in the world tonight, because I got mini motorways recorded like just an hour ago, and now this. Okay, letter Y, what do you got for me? Yawn. <laughs> yeah, you're just- or, or a yodel, oh god, okay, well that's even worse. Um, I can probably twist you into something else, couldn't I? There's another letter Y. Uh, oh, it's a lowercase Yesterday. y. Yesterday. I see. This letter Y exists in the past, I guess? Okay. Uh, a yo-yo. Yeah, I guess we're messing around with the with, with the lowercase letter Y now. Yep, it's, it's a yo-yo. Yo-yo for know. absolute sure. It's physics-based. God, vector-based physics? I mean, well, I mean, I guess there were some old, like, old-school arcade games using vector graphics that were technically physics-based, but... Okay, well, that's that's just it for that, then, I guess. Okay, Z, so this is the last letter, so th I think this might be the final level. Letter Z. Z. What do you got for me? A zipper? Zipper. This better, this better be a, a, a big finale worthy of my time. Oh, God, there's another, there's another letter Z. Oh, we're peel peeling back the layers again, just like that one level in Windowsill. Okay, that's a more stylish looking letter Z. There you go. Just just bring it on back. Oh god, it kind of looks like a mouth when you start unzipping it though. Oh, zebra. Z for zebra. It's probably going to morph into something else. 
Okay, yeah, morphs into a zebra. That's what I thought. Very nice. Zebra. Zebra. Is that it? Or can I do something else with the zebra here? Wait, is it is its eyes closed? Can I make you open your eyes somehow? Oh god. I don't want to accidentally snap your neck. Hang on a second. Good lord. What in the world? What am I doing right now? <laughs> Zebra's just chillaxing. He's just chilling out. I don't know why his eyes are closed though. Can I can I open his eyes somehow? Well, I open his mouth. That, that's like that's like the first step to solving the problem. Okay, please. Can you can you like wake up? Thank you very much. Oh my god. There we go. His eyes are open now. Oh god, we're going into his eyes. Er, excuse me? No, no, no. Open your eyes back up. Oh my god, your your eyeball is literally a kaleidoscope. Okay. Well, that's not bizarre in the slightest. No, that's totally normal. Did you guys not know that, that zebras actually have a, a, a kaleidoscope hidden with in, inside their eyes? Did you know that their eyeballs are literally the kaleidoscope? Yeah, it's, it's, it's fact, factual. Totally factual. Okay, hang on a second. What, what are we doing here? We're looking around for something. What are we looking around for, though? Oh, okay, we're zooming in. We're zooming in on it. Oh, dear God. What are we zooming in? Oh, like little, like little bugs? Oh, no, those are people. Those are people. Those are not, like, little germs. They're microscopic people. They're just floating around in space. Oh, yeah, we're zooming in, like a microscope, almost. Even though that doesn't... Microscope doesn't start with the letter Z, but whatever. <laughs> there we go. People are just flying around. Get the frick out of here. Bye. <laughs> I can just, like, fling them off screen and they, 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 they never come back. They just don't even come back, dude. Oh, no, they actually do come back eventually. Okay, so they're, they're not gone forever. They do... Oh, yeah, they do, like, come back around. Yeah, the end. They, like, swoop on back in. All right, well, I guess... Yeah, I guess I guess that's it. Is there anything else I can do with these letters, though? No, I don't want to zoom in on you. Yeah, the letter E is gone. Okay, I, get, I think these are just, like, disappearing on their own. Or are they? I don't know. Everyone is, like, getting in the way of the freaking letters here. I don't know if I'm if I'm the one who's, like, casting these letters away, or if they're just, like, leaving under Owen. Under their own free will. I don't even know. Frick. God, I'm just, like, I'm, like, making the letters dance. Okay, there we go. The N is gone. The D is gone. Okay. The D is gone. Whatever. We're done with this game, okay, dude? I think, I think we're good, right? Is it just gonna, are we just gonna stay on this screen now, though? Is there, is there, like, no credit screen? Okay, no, this, this might actually be it. This might actually be the end of the game. I don't think there is a credit screen that's gonna appear. It may just, it may just stay on this screen, actually. Okay, well, in that case, I'm assuming we're done with the game, then. I think we're done. So I'm gonna go back to the, uh, this, this is, like, the level select here, it seems. Yeah, Z, I can just, I can just go back to the Z level at any time. Okay, well, let's go back home for now. Because I think the... I, I'm pretty sure the game is basically done. I think we've completed the whole game. There is also this thing that I noticed that says, uh, Parental Gate. To open this section, choose the Cylinder, Cube, and Cohen. So what what exactly is this? I'm just, I'm just kind of curious about this. What is this? Submit. Created by... Oh, Vector Park presents created by Patrick Smith, voice of Sarah Alger... Studio assistance by Studio Camp. Many sounds are from the Free Sound repository, and more Vector Park games. Oh, okay. So this is how you. This is essentially how you, there is a credit screen in this game, but this is how you activate it. Okay. Okay. So I just discovered that Vector Park has, in fact, created more games than just Metamorphobet and Windowsill, which I did not know before. But it seems like all the other games they've created were released for free. And some of their oldest games date all the way back to 2001. So they've actually been making games for a really long time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try out any of their free games, because the, it seems like they're all available on itch.io now. Which makes sense, because I mean, Flash doesn't exist anymore, because I'm assuming all their all their older games were made in Flash too. Maybe I could show that off in like a double feature video at some point in the future, or maybe even a randomizer video. I could like bring my randomizer series back for like for like one time, so I could show off some more Vector Parks games, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. 
Um, I'm gonna assume that was the end of the game, so yeah, that's Metamorphabet. I'm gonna leave the video here then in that case. By the way, I did discover as well that there's an Android version of Metamorphabet, so links in the description. And also, if you want to purchase the game on either Steam or itch.io, there's links in the description for that too. It only costs $5. So yeah, that was Metamorphabet. Uh, I actually really like that. I enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would, because I kind of felt like because of the fact that this was designed more like an educational game, that I was going to be, like, bored out of my mind, but... Oh, I was, I was anything but that, dude. This game is anything but boring. Like, I know that it's primarily designed for really young children, but I feel like even if you are, like, a, a young adult... Like, like, if you have an imagination, then I think you'll actually really enjoy this game a lot. Regardless of how old you are. I mean, again, it does feel a lot like Windowsill in the sense that it was clearly designed with all ages in mind. I don't exactly know how family-friendly some of Vector Park's other games are, but I'm assuming that the vast majority of their games, or maybe even all of their games, are exactly like this too. But yeah, that was, uh, that was enjoyable for the, like, half hour that it lasted me for, give or take. Yeah, it was very, uh, en enchanting. <laughs> Again, I am absolutely blown away at the fact that they managed to pull all of this stuff off in Flash. Because I, again, I'm pretty sure this was made in, like, either Flash or the more commercial version of Flash, also known as Adobe Air. Yeah, I really don't understand how Vector Park creates, like, such high-quality vector graphics using Flash. Because, again, they look like 3D models, dude. They look so much like 3D models, even though they clearly aren't. It's just, like... The way that everything is designed, it, like, tricks you into believing that it's 3D models, but then you remember that this was all made in Flash, which doesn't support 3D models. God, I really, I really don't understand how Vector Park does, like, any of this stuff. Like, how, how do you guys animate all this stuff in freaking Flash of all things? I don't understand. Like, Windowsill and Metamorphabet are both games that really challenged my ideas on what a Flash game could be. Like, I, I had no idea that you could get, like, this high-quality vector graphics out of freaking Flash. It's freaking insane, man. It looks so much better than, like, literally every Flash game that's ever come out. I really don't know how Vector Park managed to pull any of this stuff off. Like, this is, this is unreal, man. It's unlike anything I've ever seen done in Flash before. It's so imaginative and creative. It's just, I, I just, I love it, man. I love it to death. I wasn't expecting to like, honestly, any of these games, especially Metamorphabed, though, but I think Metamorphabed is the w is the one that I'm probably the most blown away by. So, yeah, there you go. I, I don't really know what else to say about this, but I, I mean, this would definitely be an appropriate game to give to, like, your five-year-old kid, I would say, to, like, teach them about the alphabet, like, if you want a very creative take on that. And I mean, there is this one thing in the game that says, like, uh, what was it called again? Yeah, Parental Gate. So I think just just from that alone, you can tell that this was made specifically for children. Yeah, Parental Gate. But I really do feel like this game can be enjoyed by people of all ages. Like, even if you're, even if you're an adult, like, again, as long as you have an imagination and an open mind at that, then my goodness, man, you are in for a magical time, I'll tell you what. But anyway, if you want to purchase the game, the link's in the description. I think I already mentioned all of that stuff already. It's available on Steam, itch.io. There's apparently an Android version too that I'll link in the description. And I don't know, maybe this won't be the only Vector Park game that I play. Maybe I will try to check out some of their older projects. Apparently they did release another project after this in 2017 called Sandcastles. And I think Sandcastles was released for free. So maybe sometime in the future I could show off some more of Vector Park's games in a double feature or even a randomizer perhaps. I know I mentioned a long time ago that my randomizer series is basically dead now and I have no intention on ever bringing it back. That's not completely true, honestly. I've actually thought about bringing the randomizer series back for real because I would kind of like to actually bring that series back for good, but it's just the only problem is that I have to cover three games and they all need to be free. It's a lot harder than it sounds, because I try to look for games that would not only interest me, but I think would also interest you guys the most, and it's it's a lot harder than it seems, like it really is. That's part of the reason why I stopped doing it after a while. But I don't know, maybe the series will come back in full force eventually, maybe sometime in 2022, who knows, assuming I'm even still making videos by then, but... 
For now, I'm gonna stop talking, and I'm just gonna let you guys go purchase this game and play it for yourself. Links are in the description. That's it for me for now. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. I'll see you in the next video I make. Later!